As the Persian mystic and poet Rumi said, out beyond ideas of right doing and wrong doing, there is a field and I will meet you there. In a time of increasing conflict around the world, many are seeking new ways to combat terrorism that go beyond the traditional military approaches and political and diplomatic negotiations. Women, connecting with other women across borders as active peacemakers, may be the missing building block in the defense superstructure. This is the thinking behind the world's first female counterterrorism platform called SAVE, Sisters Against Violent Extremism. I was at the Omega Women and Power Conference and had the honor of speaking with Dr. Edith Schlafer, the founder of Women Without Borders, an NGO based in Vienna focused on international advocacy and empowering women as agents of change. In 2008, they created SAVE to increase the role of women in the international security arena. We are focusing on combating violent extremism using the voices of women who are dedicated to form a united front against violent extremism around the globe. When we switch on the media today, we see Pakistan in flames across the Middle East. They hate the U.S. They don't know us or the uh, Western people or, you know, we don't know them. So we have to create this people-to-people, -people, women to women dialogue. And I know that women around the globe, particularly as educators, and mothers will make the difference. SAVE brings women leaders together who are concerned about security issues. Now all these emotions are running high. We are placed in time to say, no, we refuse to hate. We insist on conversations, on meaningful debates, creating a new dialogue, uh, a dialogue led by women, uh, focusing on voices of reason to create a better world which is free of violence, particularly free of violent extremism and terrorism. Elaine Hargrove, former program director of SAVE, spoke of how women can play a distinct role in situations of crisis and terrorism. We believe that women hold enormous untapped potential to combat the spread of radical ideologies, to act as early warning signals, to be able to reach out and build bridges between communities, to counter prevalent stereotyping, and to break down the barriers of mistrust and hatred that divide us and can inflame um, radicalism and make youths more vulnerable to the ideologies that lead them toward violent extremism. Women in particular know what's going on with their children and their communities and can ring the alarm bell when they realize something is wrong on the home front. And we focus on empowering mothers as well as students through a variety of training programs, empowerment workshops, self-confidence building measures, and especially bringing together the women through international conferences, um, either physically or online, in order to exchange best practices, to, share, to um, share lessons that they've learned, so that we can really facilitate the flow of information that cannot remain isolated if we want to together make a difference in this arena. SAVE works with women in nine countries around the world, in places like Northern Ireland, Israel, Palestine, Pakistan, India, Yemen, and Indonesia, as well as the UK and US. I asked Elaine about the long-term vision for SAVE. To establish grassroots women leaders who have the power, who have the knowledge, and who have the tools to influence and to affect the mindsets of the youth to strengthen them to be able to combat the spread of radical ideologies. We want to be able to connect these grassroots women leaders to form a united front against the spread of violent extremism. We want to increase women's recognition and power and belief in themselves in their communities in order to um, work together to implement their vision of a safer future for their children. And we want their power and their agency to be recognized at the highest level. So we want policymakers to listen to what these women have to say, to be responsive to their needs, to recognize their achievements, and to really firmly entrench women in the security superstructure. I asked both Edith and Elaine to share their views about the words women and power. 
Edith spoke of embracing our greatness. What comes in mind? Yes. Women tend to say no. I don't want to be tainted, you know, power is toxic. No, we have to reclaim power for our purposes. You know, we need to use power, take it in our hands and embrace our greatness. This is what I learned here at the leadership conference, embrace our greatness. We always feel too little, inferior, not good enough, but we are the talent pool. Women out there make it, you know, we are the brains out there. The emotional uh, competence is undisputed, but now it's intellectual competence, you know, which will, I think, help us to overtake for a little while in a transitional period bef until the men get their act together. Elaine spoke of harnessing the different manifestations of female power around the world. I have been to places as diverse as Kyrgyzstan and Zanzibar and Yemen and Egypt and Palestine and Northern Ireland and in all of those places I have met some of the most powerful women I have ever had the pleasure of encountering but the way in which they are powerful differs from the ways in which I see power traditionally be recognized and celebrated and for this reason, the women's power thus far has been sidelined, it's been neglected, and it hasn't been celebrated. One of the things that I see the Omega Institute's Women in Power Conference doing is celebrating and embracing and lifting up these various visions of women's power in order to be able to tie them into the overall um, power structure to make sure that their voices are heard and their their abilities are recognized and together by capturing, by harnessing, by taking advantage of this power and potential that women all over the world have, we can move away from some of the problems that are defining our world at the moment and create a better future for all of us. How can you use your own personal power for greater good? In what ways can you be a peacemaker in your own community? Together, we can make a difference in the safety and stability of our world. The power is in your hands.